make sure nothing's in my teeth. Hi guys, I'm Dee. Welcome back to my channel at Dee Lovely Life. It is Monday, April 6th, currently about noontime. I have been up, you guys, since like four o'clock in the morning. Woke up when Jay woke up, and of course Kitty was meowing because she was hungry. She's always hungry, that girl. So I was a good a human sister to my little furry sister, and I made sure she got her food. And then after that, I had to make sure that I actually finished uploading my vlog from over the week and the weekend. If you haven't checked that out, go check that out now. And speaking of that, make sure you click on that subscribe button if you have not already done so. Help this gal out, will you? <laughs> A typical Monday for D. You know, I'm going to be working on my planner, my meal plan. I'm finishing up with mom's laundry. I'm, I'm trying to stay within the routine of it all. But let's get real. With what is going on in the news, it's starting to become a little overwhelming. I'm not going to shed light on this. Uh, I will be here for you. I mean, we will get through this. We need to stay home. We need to practice the whole physical distancing. We need to, you know, just be smart about things. Be safe. Also take care of yourself because we all need to be healthy, but most importantly, we need to stay home. And I know there's a lot of us that, you know, hey, D, I'm already at home. I've been home. <laughs> like me as a caregiver, family full-time caregiver, nothing's really changed for me. I'm pretty much still at home. The only thing I'm missing is my Wednesdays where I get my relief as a caregiver for four hours once a week and um but you know but that's just like for for running errands or getting my hair done or something like that i mean for the most part i'm doing pretty well uh, jay has been stepping up trying to relieve me sometimes during dinner before dinner i like to kind of just escape if it's up here in my office i get to work uh you know just do those kind of things you know but for the most part everything is pretty much staying the same except for what's on the tv news just everything it seems like there's so many new updates and what's so sad is california is getting really hit hard lately i think we're like the fourth worst state right now with new york being the top epic center of this whole situation right now in the united states but we come in fourth and our governor was just on talking about you know the, the different numbers like he comes on every morning lately during the week and he likes to update with the certain numbers for some reason i was glued i was glued to it and then i just started getting you know a little bit of anxiety starts to rise up and my worries um been having hard time sleeping a little bit lately i am not gonna lie but last night i slept good i mean i slept so good i woke up like i said around four i was talking with jay before he left to work and i was telling honey i slept good <laughs> I was ready. I was ready to get this day started, get this week started, try to share as much as I can with you guys because I know you guys are at home right now. It is raining. I so want to get working in my backyard again. I cannot wait to share that with you guys. I have been videotaping here and there, little clips, hopefully like a little bit of a time lapse kind of deal. I don't know. We'll see how that turns out. I still have the decluttering video I started again to work on. I'm about like maybe 30% done with that, but I promise you I will get that decluttering video. I am not too sure if where I want to start with decluttering at the moment. I don't know. Um, is there a particular area that maybe, well actually tell me what you're decluttering. How about that? How about if I ask you who is watching, if you are decluttering 
yes or no and if you are can you please 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 let me know what you're decluttering like which area are you attacking at this very moment and um because i need some motivation <laughs> But for the most part, let's get this Monday going. Let me show you guys what I have been doing today to catch up with you guys. I did my mom's morning routine, so. That is done. She is resting. I'm just going to go down there, check on her real quick, make sure she's enjoying her food network. I have been watching a lot of food network with her. <laughs> and I am like not a baker. I don't like to bake at all, really. I don't really yeah that's just not me but i'm starting to like oh my god i can make cookies or ooh, i can make a cake but then it's just mom and i and let's face it you know mom and i don't need to be eating like that so i don't know anyone else like that it's like maybe if i do bake cookies i don't know maybe i'll have to give some to a neda or a neighbor fam or either i wonder if there's a way that i can freeze it i've never tried freezing any kind of cookies before i don't know i'm gonna have to youtube that <laughs> but anywho i have mom's laundry i gotta i gotta fold so let's go do that okay I gave my mom another sponge bath yesterday, so that means more laundry. We gotta keep my mom clean too. Uh, squeaky clean here. And this is all wiped down. We've been wiping down our uh, machines. Oh, geez, on a regular basis in here. So I just want to make sure everything is disinfected before I put any clean laundry on top. You know what I mean? Let me explain what's going on with these. <laughs> so you guys don't start asking questions in the comments down below. So what I decided I wanted to do was to experiment. These have been thrown in with my mom's wash on high heat detergent and this one here was in the dryer because I want to see how well it dried um, and then these here are just left to hang now these are the seven milliliter gloves I do not particularly use I use just a five milliliter but of course as you can imagine during this crisis there it's hard to find latex gloves and I need these in order to change my mom so knowing that i'm going to be running out in about another month or so i don't know what or how many boxes i'm going to be able to get by then or if really so what since these are the thicker ones i thought maybe i'll go ahead and experiment and try to wash these in hot water with detergent along with my mom's stuff and then hang to dry and then this one here is just I'm trying to see if, how well it performs in the dryer. So far, not too bad. But I'm going to go ahead and start reusing some of these, especially the ones that are not really soiled. I mean, it's just, it's hard for me to throw away these with really, I'm like, you know what? I mean, they could be washed, you know, properly and reused again. So, I don't know. Just kind of testing it out. There's that. Isn't this pretty? I got this. I found this at Walmart for her. It was only like 16 or 11 bucks or something like that. But I'm just hanging that one to dry for her. That's my last five milliliter box. <laughs> so, I mean, I still have two more of these, but still, you know what I mean? Okay, let me get back to um, folding my mom's laundry. Oh, yeah, and another thing. Jay has been entering into our house from the side door here into our laundry room and then he immediately puts all of his things from his um, work pockets or whatever into these bins so they don't touch anything and then he, once he takes everything out he gets out of his work clothes and then he tosses everything into the wash machine and then he takes off his shoes and he has this it's um clorox and water and he sprays these on his boots on his lunch bag 
and on his laptop computer bag so he disinfects everything so he doesn't contaminate or bring anything into the rest of the house. He does his laundry, goes on into the dryer and then it gets hung up and then he takes it upstairs. And we took off all of the jackets and sweaters that hung on this wall as I didn't want anything to touch him when he came in and out. So we disinfect the wall and of course we disinfect like the the light switches, the knobs, yeah, just everything. I mean, it's exhausting just to try to explain the steps that we are taking, but because he is an essential part of the workforce, uh, you know, these are the measures that we have to do to make sure that we keep mom safe. So like I said, so this is almost like, um, I don't know, I, I like I can see it in a movie where like everything's taped off, closed off. Well, this is kind of it where he kind of disinfects and, you know, it has to do what he has to do in order to keep everything from going past that laundry room door here. So, um, and then once he gets all showered all ready and then he has to put on gloves again and then he takes his Clorox wipes and then he wipes down everything, including his car keys, his wallet, everything that's in those tubs up there and then he cleans out those tubs disinfects it and then puts everything in it so everything in it is all disinfected and then he then in turn takes wipes and then he wipes down everything um the wash machine the dryer if he had touched it or put anything on it so these are constantly constantly getting wiped down <laughs> i swear this is like craziness over here it's just craziness but these are the measures that I am taking that I thought I'd share with all of you and of course me having anxiety I take it a step further and I swift the floor and everything else although he says that he you know he sprays that Clorox on the floor as well as a disinfectant so I figure well you know he's doing that and I'm swiffering at the same time so <sighs> yeah I just don't have any words for that one yeah, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. Close your eyes. Get some rest. I'm by your side. Lay your head on my chest. We probably should have brought that in, huh? is not bad at all I mean at all I'm just have all this here because I still need to work on this so I have to rip all of those darn tickets off <laughs> but for the most part I mean we've been I've been keeping it clean because I have to disinfect the table 
And now that I vacuum cleaned, I have to vacuum clean a little bit more regularly only because, well, we're in here all the time now. It's just, you know, watching movies, Netflix, those kind of things. But, um, and we're snacking out here, so I just don't want crumbs everywhere. And I've actually attempted to put like <laughs> a garland of these cute little, look, aren't these cute? They're little Easter bunnies on there i hung some around my mom's window our kitchen window and i just threw it on here another thing i also added was i busted out with these little disco mirror balls these are uh battery operated aren't those cute remember i mistakenly bought these during christmas and well i decided that you know what I'm just gonna go ahead and make the most of it and I'm gonna add those lights. I have some lights too I also want to add to my mom's room as well just so that you know it just kind of gives us a little more cheery more positive. Uh, it is really it's still raining. I added those little uh, butterflies there on the fence as well and yeah it's one of those rainy rainy days. sit down here for a second take breaks that's another thing it's like take breaks take a rest when you need it i need some water um don't tell jay i'm sitting in a spot though <laughs> no but seriously you know just go on your own pace especially if this is your first time ever really being at home a stay-at-home person a stay-at-home wife a stay-at-home husband a stay-at-home caregiver now or you know whatever just remember to take care of yourself i'm always used to saying get rest when they rest but seriously this is the time to embrace your naps embrace your naps if you get tired take your time i mean be at your own pace don't go like full force because trust me you're gonna burn out later on you're getting overwhelmed and then you're gonna probably get into some type of depression because let's face it this is very depressing times not to mention hello the weather doesn't add to this already so mom is actually finishing up her bowl of soup i'm gonna grab myself an orange i'm gonna sit back relax i'm gonna watch some of my youtube subscriptions that i'm kind of behind on so i want to also catch up with all of you and uh, with that you guys i think i'm going to end this here i just want to kind of jump on here real quick like i told you i was going to do some impromptu videos thank you so much for joining me today if you haven't already make sure you click that subscribe button so you don't miss any more videos i think what i'm going to do too is i got to actually do my meal plan so so I think I'm going to film that next, but that's going to be on a separate video. Like always, remember to take care of yourself and I will see you on the next one. Bye.